And we are back here on Cats and Cosby. Well, we have seen these issues of repeat offenders getting out over and over again. Uh, but there has been a new case of a convicted cop killer who keeps getting locked up. And joining us now is the president of the PBA, NYPD's big union there, Pat Hendry. And uh, Mr. President Hendry, first of all, I just have to tell you, this to me is outrageous. First of all, the guy's out on the street. Can you talk about what's happening? Because uh, my heart breaks for law enforcement that you have to see this guy back out over and over again. Uh, th- thank you so much for having me on. It's an absolute travesty of justice that this cop killer keeps getting put back on the street. Let's not forget the fact of what happened in this case on June 19, 1980, Police officer of Joseph Keegan, while doing patrol in the subway system in New York City, stopped Bruce Lorick, who was trying to evade a fare. Instead of complying with Officer Keegan, he fought with Officer Keegan. He was able to get Officer Keegan's gun and shot him point blank in the head and then fled the scene without regard for human life. Later on, he was captured and then convicted on all charges. And unfortunately, in April of 2021, he was put back on the streets of the city of New York. And as you said, he keeps on getting arrested over and over and mm-hmm. over again. And the judges in these cases are continue to let this cop killer back on the streets of the city of New York. And every time they let Bruce Lorick back on the streets, it's a gut punch to the Keegan family. It's an absolute travesty what's going on in our court system. President uh, Henry, it's Judge Richard Weinberg. Good to talk to you again, sir. How let are me, you, Judge? Let me tell you what my problem is. You have to yeah. start at the parole board level. You have a history mm-hmm. now of dozens and dozens of dozens of cop killers being let out by the parole board. The parole board system has to be reformed. You have to put Absolutely. serious people on there who care about public safety and who respect the, the men and women in blue. That's number one. Number two, with respect to why the judges are letting them out, I'd have to see each case. But a large amount of the problem is that the New York State Legislature has taken the ability away from the judges to hold people in who are recidivists and who can constantly co- – only a few crimes, as you know, are bail eligible, which means the judges can set the bail. And New York State is the only state in the entire country that allows for – well, would, would, no discretion would, on public safety. Would the state of the state message today from the governor, uh, has, he, has she offered any relief? Not, well, not so far. I haven't seen anything, any proposals. Well, well the, the law is clear. Uh, when someone's arrested uh, for a violation of their parole, they're supposed to do time and they're supposed to stay in jail. So that is clear in this case. So are the judges reading the law in this case? They should be holding these criminals accountable and this criminal cannibal, and he should be in jail. I, I agree with you. I, the whole problem of recidivism has to be confronted, and they need to do that. And the whole problem of giving judges absolute discretion to hold somebody in based on public safety has to be dealt with. You know, if, if, you're, if you're arrested for killing a police officer, you should not have the opportunity to get out on parole. There have, to be some, there have to be some guidelines out there where certain kinds of criminal activity that you're convicted of, you should not have an opportunity to get out on parole, period. Oh, I, I agree with you. That's why I say you have to start at the very yeah. beginning. You have to clean up the parole boards. Give us a, uh, PBA president, please uh, give us an uh, update on uh, the amount of police officers out there and uh, how many should there be? Uh, so right now... We have about 21,500 police officers. Uh, we, we basically are down uh, 7,000 police officers from our highest peaks in the NYPD. Our members right now are overworked, understaffed, not being able to get days off, uh, being forced to do enormous amounts of overtime. Uh, so, and they're having a hard time right now hiring, recruiting in the NYPD. Uh, and it's a huge, it's a huge problem. You know what? What about the morale too? To John's point, I'm stunned um, mm-hmm. just at that number when you just said you're yeah. seven thousand. Yeah, my jaw dropped in studio. At our highest peaks, yes. What, the what, is, what is the morale like there, uh, PBA President Patrick Hendry? Uh, mora- mora- morale is at its lowest point. Police officers are at their breaking point right now. It, it's hard to to get a day off. It's hard to uh, get a meal on patrol. 
in commands across the city, uh, in precincts where we would normally turn out six to eight patrol cars, we are now turning out two to three patrol cars. That is the reality of policing in the NYPD right now. Well, thank you so much, uh, uh, PBA President uh, Patrick uh, Hendry. Uh, and uh, please come on more often and, and give us updates. Yep, thank you. We are with you thank and the men and women in blue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.